2018 question 36. Consider the following statements and choose the best answer. So you're given two statements and this is those statement type questions. So first statement, the molar volume of bromine is larger than that of fluorine at room temperature and pressure. And actually most of you would think this is false immediately because you would assume that they're supposed to be the same because you would say that, oh, we've learned about in the topic of rate of reaction book 4A, we learned about the molar volume of gases. That's actually Avogadro's law as well. And you will learn that, oh, all of them are supposed to be 24 dm cube. Now, this is true for gases, okay? But actually, at room temperature, fluorine is a gas, yep, but have a bromine. As we know, bromine is a liquid, okay? Bromine is a liquid. But even though if you thought of it in this way, you would still consider that it's wrong, even if you thought both of them are gases. But actually, the, uh, this is the wrong type of concept to have. You need to see that it, whether it's a li liquid or gas. This only works for gases. That's why it's called molar volume of gases. But anyway, this first statement is false as well. It's because you actually, you guys didn't even learn the, how to find the molar volume of solids or liquids. There's a, actually a particular formula, but you'll learn more about um, the volume of gases. There's this I do gas law and stuff like that in university. But anyway, here, this is not true. This is false anyway. And in, in the second statement, the molecular size of bromine is larger than that of fluorine. Now, this you have learned. This definitely is true. It's because as you go lower down in group 7, when you go lower in the group, when you go down the group, as you know, when you go down the group, the atomic size or the molecular size increases. Why does it increase? It's because, as you know, the number of electrons in each group because the number of electrons increases. So the molecular size will increase. That's why this statement is true. Now, when the first statement is wrong, the second statement is correct, then, yep, it is C. Now, don't worry. Over here, I didn't, I didn't write down what is A, B, C, D, but in the public exam, you will be given what does A mean, what does B mean, what does C mean, what does D mean. But I prefer you to be more familiar with what is A, what is B, what is C, and what is D, so that you don't have to spend some time reading it. So for this answer, for this question, the answer is C.